Okay, so, uh, Wait, David, it's my turn first. Okay. She has to go first. You need to stand right over there by the easel. And we'll cut it over the top. Now, walk forward a little bit. Watch the easel. <laughs> okay, right there. All right, right there. Right there. Welcome to the Lake of Visual Artists for Saturday free monthly workshop. Um, our free workshops include drawing and painting techniques, art history, and other related subjects that we offer to the community. The techno technology we're using today was provided in part through a grant from Kansas Creative Arts Industries Commissions. We're very excited about what we can do now. Today we welcome Dave Stewart, who will be looking and talking about paintings by Vincent Van Gogh. David will explore Van Gogh's painting style, and will demonstrate his version of that style for you. Well, thank, you. thank you, Carol. Uh, welcome, everybody. Um, uh, Vincent Van Gogh, uh, well, before we get into that, let me tell you about myself. Uh, I teach here at the gallery on Saturday mornings from 9 until 1. That's my weekly class, and also six to nine on Wednesday nights. And there's room in my class right now for anybody that wants to do, explore more into Vincent Van Gogh, maybe do a replica. I've done some replicas myself of Vincent's work and uh, some of the funnest artwork that I've ever done. Um, I'll, I'll tell you why I think Vincent's so great. But uh, uh, before I get into that, if you're not a member of the gallery or a member of OVA, I want to invite you to be a member. It's, OVA is Oi the Visual Artists, the nonprofit organization, a uh, collection of local artists. And for $25 a year, you can become a member. And it'll allow you to, uh, well, you'll be on our mailing list. We'll, we'll make you aware of what we're doing in the gallery. We'll invite you to receptions and parties. Um, if you have artwork, you have the ability to show it and sell it here at the gallery. So uh, it's it's a way to wade into the art world in your own neighborhood. Um, so uh, one more thing about myself: I have a degree in art history, uh, much to my father's dismay. Um, he sent me to college to get a degree in business, and I came back with a degree in art history. Um, so, um, Vincent Van Gogh was always one of my favorite artists because he's different. He's different from uh, the Renaissance artists, and even different from the Impressionists. Um, the Impressionists really, uh, they made a big impact in art history because they went against the traditional uh, realism of, of art. And so they brought in emotion and color in, into paintings and they, uh, they did that to, to show that you don't have to be the best at making a flower look just like a flower. You can, you can have your own identity and your painting can have its own identity. So if you decide that you just like pink and everything you paint is pink, that's fine. You can still be a great artist. Um, and so the, the Impressionists were mid-1800 painters who, as a group in Paris, and in, uh, in Europe uh, decided that they would show their artwork uh, away from where the, the artwork was being shown. Um, and they got a, a big following. They, there, were, there were a lot of people that really started to recognize that this is, this is a really good thing for art. Vincent wasn't really part of that. Um, he was doing his own thing. Uh, nearby in Europe, he was a Dutch painter, um, but he did move to France uh, 
and he went to Paris and he met all the impressionists and uh, he even got recognized by some museums in his time and they thought he was he was fantastic but he really didn't get the acclaim that he deserved and now he's considered probably the most famous and best loved artist in history um, and he had a tumultuous life, difficult, um, but above all, he, he wanted to make great artwork. Uh, and we know that because of his letters to his brother, who was an art salesman. And so he, uh, he spent his whole life, and it was only six years of him painting. He painted 3,000 paintings six years so he was if you're gonna paint like Vincent van Gogh he needs to paint fast because we're gonna try and do that today too <laughs> because we only have a certain amount of time and we're gonna try and walk away with a, a van Goghish painting um, so uh, I, I applaud you guys on the effort uh, and um, try to put that kind of effort into everything I'm not everybody understands the uh, the benefit that you get from creating artwork. And you guys obviously do because you're here. But I believe it transforms people and it makes people more aware, uh, more, oh, uh, they, they, they develop an eye for everything or how you might see a sunset and what's beautiful in a rock, you know? everything so uh, anyway what we're going to do today is we're going to paint what's on the screen and it's uh it's uh, van gogh's um almond almond branch in a glass and i picked it because it has his signature style in it not all of vincent's paintings had the signature style he developed it over his six years of painting and, uh, and he developed it because, well, he went to Paris and to make some money, he, he made some posters for the theater. Um, at the time that he was there, the Impressionists were all, um, they were amazed at Japanese and uh, Asian art. And I brought a couple of examples of Asian art <laughs> to show you what it was that they thought was so awesome. Um, Asian art has, is, you have the ability to tell a story. Here's a couple of monks contemplating the life of fishes. And, and it's very well done. It's, there's a lot of space in it, painting for thought and reflection. And it's, it's a beautiful piece. And then flowers, I mean, a big theme for Vincent. He loved painting flowers. Um, but he saw artwork like this and made posters that were had an oriental flair to them. And then he put that into his artwork. So many of the things that he painted were, you know, were they, they looked oriental and Western at the same time. Uh, here's a, one of the paintings that I did of uh, who was, one of his, uh, not his girlfriend, he knew her and she was a field hand, but he followed her around and painted her, painted her in, a, in a creepy way. But, uh, <laughs> but what, what he did in these paintings is he, he used short brush strokes or even long ones, but each brush stroke has its own color and laid in next to a, another brush stroke that has a cooler color that's similar. Um, so the greens in the uh, in the field are pale, and then lime green, and he's got some dark dark blues in there. Uh, he um, he did. It's a kind of a decorative way to paint, um, but that's what a painting is, and it? it's something you're going to decorate your your home with. And he knew that he. He wanted people to really enjoy looking at his paintings. Um, so
So here's one of mine, and this is kind of in the Impressionist style, but it's more in the style of Seurat, or uh, well, if I can remember uh, the other ones. But <laughs> anyway, uh, I did this at a nearby winery a couple of years ago. Um, I think we probably ought to get started painting. Oh, by the way, here's one more that I did of a just a canvas wheat field. And uh, I think it's probably more Van Gogh like than most of my, my own paintings. Uh, my style is whatever. Your, your style is the same thing. It's whatever you paint. Uh, and you'll find out after you have a bunch of your own paintings together that there's something about them that are all the same. And it's, it's your influence in the painting. Um, is there, are there any questions before we get started? Okay. Have, has everyone here painted in acrylic before? Okay. All right. Acrylic dries fast, so I won't, I won't go through everything. But dries fast, so you'll want to use the sprayer to spray your palette, like once every ten minutes, and uh, and keep keep it wet. We're going to begin by painting a gray background and under, undertone. We'll, we'll, we'll call it a, a pinkish gray, maybe even a purplish gray. And I'm going to ask you to mix that up yourself and we'll, we'll cover the entire canvas. To, to cover the whole canvas, you're going to spray the canvas first with the, with the water. It'll allow this uh, coat of paint to flow better. But go ahead and mix yourself up a pile of a, a warm gray that you can the entire background. And while you're doing that, I'll tell you about some other stuff. I have retarder, which is uh, an additive for your acrylic, and I have molding paste. Acrylics uh, are a polymer plastic, so they, they dry very flat, um, no relief. Uh, but the modeling paste gives you high relief brush strokes, something that Vincent Van Gogh really relished in his paintings was being able to see the, the brush strokes and the uh, the movement of the artist's hand in the work. Um, I'm going to paint also up here, but uh, allow me to help you in any way. Um, if you have any questions, uh, you're going to make this pile of paint large enough to be able to cover the entire canvas, um, and then we'll we'll get them dry and we'll move on to the next steps. Uh, David, your um, Phyllis heart is in the emergency room. She went up. Oh no! So she said she would join us another day. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, that's terrible. Take a scoop of the white. Scoop it and put it on the plate. Get a little bit of black. Yeah, that's a good idea. That's, that's really good to get that part. You don't have to do very much for that middle. Blue, I think. Well, a little darker. Yeah. Did you get your black and blue? Um, well, I thought this was I thought this was blue, but it's not. It's or I thought this was black, but it's that's Payne's gray. If you're gonna make gray, so I just did the a little too dark. Put some red in there, little red. Yeah. Yeah, I made it hard on you by not allowing you to have black. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> and the reason I did that is because black can ruin a room by kind of deadening yes. the look of it. Yes, it can. And you can, you can mix it black with, uh, yes, yes, with the red and blue and a bit of green. Um, a bit of green? Yeah. Don't, don't use your light. Don't use your light as a color to try to make the black black and design it happen. Uh, 
doing the entire canvas with this color, right? Yeah, and you don't, you don't have to make it thick or anything. You just have to tone it. Um, the thicker it is, one is going to take a dry. Like I said, go ahead and put water on your canvas first, or it'll allow it to flow easier. Mm -hmm. So I've got these uh, palettes for you guys, and the way that I've been using this today is I've got paint here that's a little too close to me, and I keep getting it on my sleeve. So I get all into it, and it goes right up on my sleeve. So I put I put it on your palette so that you, that doesn't happen. And you're welcome to pick up your palettes and use them like this. Yeah, I'm trying to do a little bit of this and a little bit of these. Yeah, I'm trying to do this. 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 Yeah, I'm trying to perfection in this it's just uh getting the pen on beauty and imperfection it is Unless you tell us that we do not want to use your image. So let us know if you uh, don't want us to use your, your uh, image. That would go not so well in a little thicker manner. Blue gray, or you have to let it go gray. So when you feel like you need another color, just yell out now. I'll load you up with new, new paints. Are we supposed to continue on here? Or? No, we want it to dry. Oh, we want it to dry. I'll just turn the fan on. Oh, that'll help. Put your paintbrushes in now, the water. One of the things you, know. you could do right now is you could uh, map out some of your painting uh, with the back end of your brush and, and draw possibly the, the glass. When you're looking at the, the glass, it's not in the center, of course. Um, if you, with your mind, try to find the center of that canvas, uh, or that painting that we're looking at, um, it helps you identify where, where that glass jar is. 
So I would say it'd be pretty easy to say it's this far away from the side and this past center here. And you don't want to make it too small, but uh, about this high here. So if, if, if it's still wet enough for you to, to map it in, go ahead and draw it, draw it in. And it's just about halfway. There are paper towels on the table for you to get to wipe your brushes or your hands. So you want to wipe your brushes before you use them. Before you use or get them in the water to, to change your colors. But I'm going to try and, going to try and paint without doing too much of that. So there's a book the See, you're, you're doing this right. right here. It matches this. Those are the same curves. So you can, you can use... Uh, See your smaller brushes? It's the bottoms of one of those. Yeah, there you go. Did you not want to do... Uh, yeah. uh, she did. It's just really light. Really light. Uh, you probably want to put marker. Yeah. Okay. And mm -hmm. then you can get on it right now. There's your flash. And you can draw the line. That was great. And then the other one. Yeah. Oh, there's another. Doesn't have to be perfect for our kids. And it's just uh, we're gonna be painting over. Yeah. All right. I've identified where, where my red line is right here, and and I did that just by going across, straight across. Yeah. And what I'll do next is uh, I'm going to add a little bit of white and uh, red to my gray mix, and I'm going to paint this top part up here so that it's it's a lighter gray. Than what I have. So you're going to put red in with the gray you already have. Just a touch, just the the tip of your palette knife with red. So it's not really pink. It just has that red tinge to it. Mm -hmm. Okay. You're already using more white. Huh? No, you get gray. And <laughs> okay, okay. You <laughs> say so. Pink gloves lines, yes, that's pink. You need your second line in there. Right here. Oh, I can't see it. It's not right there. Right there. Yeah, on this. Okay, I'm sorry. Did you say go ahead and paint the red line? Paint no, go ahead and do the area above the red line. So you can gray. make that a lighter color than your gray yeah. that you've laid down. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. If you uh, really feel like you need a color that you don't have, jump up and grab some from over there. Uh, it, it goes a long way. It's, that's a good thing. It's uh, Creative Impressions is the next the brand, and I got that from Jerry's Art Rama. Uh, inspiration. Uh, red. Creative Inspiration. Uh, mm -hmm. Creative inspiration. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Creative Inspiration. Jerry's has everything you could possibly want. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it is. Didn't know you wanted better. Yeah. <laughs> so make that, that area above significantly different in color than than the gray that you have. David, this is the first time I've worked with acrylics and liked it. Oh, this could be scary. There are a, a lot of good reasons to use acrylics. Uh, easy cleanup, fast drying, 
Uh, you can do big paintings and throw them in your car after you work on them. Yeah, <laughs> um, Fixed mistakes for you yeah. <laughs> The first time I have to do wet on wet blending, I'm not liking it. And, and you can, if, you're, if your area is not as light as you want it to be, you can just get white right on the on your palette and just blend it right into the canvas, right into the paint that you have up there. It's a, it's a pretty well well known. Um, well known method of adding white to it. instead of blending it on on the whole palette. You can even do it right on the palette. It's not muttering red. Take your big brush and just sweep the red to the left and mix it in there. So you want to be doing brush strokes if you want to be painting like uh, like Van Gogh. Um, the strokes are, are the key. Oh, yep. so we're stroking here? Yes, these are, these are all, in fact. Uh, I thought we were still just working on background. Yeah, go ahead and put the background in the way you want. But, but that, but Van Gogh is known for his, his brush strokes, and so everything's pretty out of, pretty much out of the stunning strokes, I think. Yeah, and I would move this, no, I'd move this line up, see how it's above the glass? I'd move it up to there, just you move it, I won't manage. Once it's dry, it doesn't matter. Then what? Right. <laughs> oh, did it work? Yeah. Okay, what I'm going to ask you to do next is is to work on that olive branch. It has it has three branches coming off of it. I want you to study it for a minute or two and just look at where it is on the canvas on the painting we're looking at. And put a little bit of dark color in uh, the focus on the where it's thick and where it's thin, where the points are, um, and we'll just put it just a dark color. You can mix it with brown. If not, I'll give you a brown to put in there. Um, but you'll uh, you'll be painting the colors on top of that after you get that way down. Working it. Work it out. Almond. Diagonal. Oh, he's, he's doing diagonal. And that's okay. I think you did wrong. Hmm? Sure. All right, you want some brown? Yeah. Red, yellow, and a little bit of blue. So I gave you all, you guys all kinds of brushes, and you made me paint the whole thing on the canvas. <laughs> yep. Well, that's kind of like Van Gogh. I mean, he had to be frantic to be painting the way that he was. Yeah. Um, I mean, it's well known that he was kind of a eccentric. Uh, and color is his thing. So, so uh, don't be afraid to use some some really bright color when you're doing. Yeah. So your brown, you can use uh, a little bit of red and green, and a touch of blue with it. I would, if you're gonna make it dark, don't mix it in with your light gray. Tell you what, I'm going to make it easy on easy on you too. I'm going to do the brown. <laughs> oh, wow. oh wow! That sounds actually. Like we've been mixing it. Yeah, we've <laughs> got it all mixed. 
So I don't see any orange in this painting. <laughs> so I'm not worried about that. Uh, if you want to darken that brown up, add, add some of that paint gray to it. Seen, uh, it for me. Almond blossoms. Yeah. Maybe they're not around. Are they one? Yeah. I don't think they are. Yeah, yeah. You can. There's a little, tr little bush. Yeah, that's right. But I think they're not right now. Yeah, yeah. Almond branch, right? Yeah, branches. Yeah, almond branch. Yes. Yeah, pick a dark brown. Almond branch should be dark brown, and then we're gonna paint some of the greens on it, uh, and some some of the lighter brown. Uh, do a pin of branch with green. Ain't like your hair's on fire. Oh, yeah. Pretend you're. You just drank absinthe. <laughs> drank what? Absinthe drinker. Yeah. What he drank. You think Vincent drank absinthe? I think Vincent drank a lot of things. <laughs> <laughs> makes you crazy. Makes you crazy. Let go. Music sounds good. That's fine. Wrong, right? Don't be critical. Oh. <laughs> it's just beginnings. Painting is a layering technique. You layer one thing on top of another. It's just it really the beginning. Trust in the process. Yes, trust the in the process. Trust in the process. That's right. Oh. <laughs> you remember that from my students. Olive branch. It's not the all been bringing it. Almond. You know, if we had some almonds on the table, I would remember. I hear you. Yeah. So here's here's my branch. That's about all I want you to do for right now is get, get it dark so that it's going to be the shadows of the branch like we put the light colors on top. Yeah. Wow, I'm nowhere near close to that. <laughs> <laughs> nowhere near. That this is like a beans Art crowd. means creating what you see, not there what is on the photo. Right. It's in the eye of the it's, photo. Yes. No one's going to see that picture. So. What if they do? That's not mine. Yeah. Yeah. Just yeah. keep yeah. telling yourself creating yeah. means yeah. doing yeah. what you feel, not what you yeah. see. Does anybody need yeah. brown? Dark brown? Yeah. I've got some on my phone. Yeah. I'm trying to figure out what those pumps yeah. are there. Oh, yeah. there's that branch coming out. What? Yeah, no, out further. To the right, to the right. Up high. No, down low. You know the mountains? It looks like mountains. These? No. Maybe, girl. Looks like mountains. It's an almond branch. This. Oh, those are shadows under the petal. I don't know. It's impression. That doesn't. It's in the <laughs> she was fine. Okay. Well, you have to make it look like there's a little bit of a large brush. 
Okay, the next thing I'm going to have you do is uh, we'll put a little bit of. I think I want to lay in some tan, some tannish gray that is going to be where the table is. Let some of the gray that you have show through it, and we're going to just going to lay in that area because the glass is. We're seeing some of the tan in the glass. Also, okay. you see, you see what I'm looking at in between the, yeah. the aqua stripes yeah. and the white yeah. stripes. Yeah. 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 Oh, okay. That's <laughs> great. I appreciate that. I forgot what we were doing. Are we doing this part now? No. I'm not sure what we're doing. We're going to do the table. And then we'll get a paint on top of the table without the table. Can we do it with the table? He's coming by with a different color. He's coming by with a mustard. Yeah, it's heavy texture. He's got the mustard. 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 Uh, lighten it up a little bit, not too much, but uh, yeah. good job. Yeah. Do this once I got the right color signal. That's helpful, isn't it? Don't worry. My color access. <laughs> <laughs> We're doing the whole table or just the right section? No. Uh, I'm going to do the whole thing. The whole shebang. You said they go a little bit lighter? Make yeah, the mustard lighter. Yeah, you said I'm going to do the whole thing. I'm going to do the whole thing. I'm going to do the whole thing. Yeah, you can do it. I have a can of Sprite in there if you need. You want a Sprite? Sure. So I gave you a uh, rounds to use, which I think is probably what Vincent painted there. Uh, these, these rounds are going to allow you to do short and long brush brush of one color. Try, try not to mix your, try not to blend anything at this point. Right now you're going to lay in your colors and make them separate from the other colors that you put on. So, so we just do yellow for and uh, white? That's, yeah, that's what I made here. It's kind of a, a, a grayish yellow over. So yellow over and white. Anything else to pour? I know that... Do you have another water? Yeah. I know that, that my table top comes up underneath this branch here, so it's about right here. So I'm just uh, putting this in. And now I'm going to lay in some brush strokes just to get some of that on here. Okay. They're up and down, they're perpendicular yes, to brush, brush strokes. Carol, you want water? No, thank you. Okay, I want to make sure I get a little bit of that tan in the middle of that glass because uh, you can see it in there. Mm -hmm. You don't need to play with the paint brush in the drink. You want to put the, enough right down at the bottom of your, your glass, the, the base that you're using. I'm serving. <laughs> Try, try not to blend this color, these colors together too much. Uh, just having those colors separate 
our our Father John built in. Okay, I've got a little bit of this color on the olive branch, uh, on the olive branch, on the almond branch. <laughs> <laughs> I see that there's, there's, a bit, there's a little bit of it up here. I see a little bit of it right here. Just the stamp in the hall. That's about all I'm going to do with that. It's on there. Looks like there's. Right. Okay. 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 Below this line. Or either. Yeah, that, that line. Oh. Or either. Yeah. Well, let's just cover it. Just a little bit of white, right? A little bit of white, yep. And you want to go on the, on the diagonal. Who needs white? I do. See, okay. it goes on the diagonal. What does? I'm on the tabletop. Ah. Oh, I can see it as well. So David did it wrong. David did it wrong. I did it wrong. He did vertical. Yeah, it's still got an angle. Oh yeah, I did. Sorry, I can get some of this right there. But it's just uh, the pen. We're going to be painting over that. Okay. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do some of the tracing around that glass, the jar, with white. I'm just going to get a little bit of yeah, white on my ground, and I'm going to do the, the opening at the top. And it's a, it's a oval, and try to be as oval as you can be with it. Be as oval as you can be. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, Paper towels are right here next to me. Alright, so I got me. Getting cross sideways now. Yes, you're good. What do you got? What do you mean? White diagonally. That's possible. Oh, you're painting the table. Okay. Yeah, table too, though. No. See where the table is the bottom. The table's from here down to there. Yeah. Your red line's from here. Yeah. 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 That's it. You've got things okay. like that. So now I'm, I'm going to put, don't, don't try to be too literal with your white. This is just you sketching in the glass right now. And you know you've got to have some on the edge. And really there's no white down here at the bottom. So if you've just got brush strokes coming up. Right here. But don't put a lot in there. We're going to paint some other paint in there. <laughs> but while you got the white on there, you could throw in some of your almond blossoms. Oh, I know that's a good idea. Yeah. Just, just identify where your almond blossoms are going to be. Okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. Water's not too bad. Do you want some clean water? Yeah, probably. Yeah, yeah. You got mud. Thank you. I've got mud. You got mud. <laughs> <laughs> Fine. <laughs> right. Um, Fine. Now you're not going to paint them all in. You're just going to put to identifying the locations. Put those stuff to paint around those. Oh, 
I'm jumping into, I'm going to put a couple of brush strokes of white in, in, on my tablecloth. Uh, and, and look at his brush strokes. They are not completely vertical. They are angled a little bit. Um, Thank you, Ruth. And I think that that's, he did that. He angled those brush strokes on the tablecloth to make the glass jar stand out more. Oh, those yeah. are perpendicular strokes. And now I'm going to mix up a little lime green. Um, not too bright, make it kind of subdued, but uh, a little bit of yellow in you into a bit of your white, not all of your white. Just pull it off to the side so that uh, it doesn't get mixed up with it. You want your white to come up here. Um, but uh, just a touch, uh, the tip of a brush with blue into your yellow is going to color it. So I've, I've just mixed up, I thought we should have been doing this for the camera. Got a little bit of lime green. I'm going to try it, and if it works, if it gets up the right color for me, then I'm going to start applying those diagonal brush strokes. Separate them, don't let them touch each other. Um, leave a little bit of gap in between those so you can see the tan. Sorry, I'm stuck here smoking. No, I got a little drop and I went too far up. Oh, no, this is where you want to go. Oh, it's not even going to get up tomorrow. Yeah. Throw all the way up here. Nice. Green, green, green. Thanks. Green. Yep, lime green. Is it under the table top? I am. Okay. Green, green, green. Green, green. 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 Do you like the color over there? Yes. <laughs> it's very pretty. That's a good sign when you go, ooh, and ah, looking at your colors. Uh, oh, yeah. I, I like that. I bring my palette on here. Individual stripes of white and a thick kind of a 
uh, drive like light, kind of identify the, the separations and the brush strokes. Go for the what? She has, she's a painter, so her whole room is covered in. Don't say that. Don't oh, say that. Expectations cool. have been set now. Oh, you betcha. Okay. Now you're gonna mix. Yeah. Well, you need more blue. I'm not. I don't know. I'm being judgmental. What do you usually paint? Landscape. Oh, I love this stuff. Oh, you get a little blue. I'm gonna put a little yellow in it. Okay, I've got. Got some aqua in the glass. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yep. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So I'm going to put a little bit of aqua. Our aqua is going to be white. blue and yellow and white again, but with a little more white, a little more blue than what you did with the lime green. Mix those together. Yeah. 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 So your, your aqua that's in the glass is uh, significantly bluer than your lime green. Okay. <laughs> try not to paint over all of your striped lines uh, try to leave them so that those colors are separated from each other and they're going to create a color by you know just by association with the other pieces the other uh, the other colors that are right next to it would you say that again Dave? well you want to lay in your colors so that you're not covering every color you just cut put on. Right. You, you want one thick brush stroke, a space that's got gray or tan next in it. And so we're laying these brush strokes in next to each other, but not not one after another. You're going to come back and lay another one in pretty soon, and you realize it also needs it also needs a darker green or a lighter green or or a, a blue or something. Yeah. I think the way he painted was kind of fun. I mean, it was in a way you can see that the, the water level here is a second oval. Oh, yeah, I see it. But there's not much to indicate it. Um, Is it paint gray or what blue is it? Yeah, gray? that's paint gray. Okay. And you can use it to make a darker blue if you need to darken anything. Uh, it seems like there's a, a dark blue, a little bit of the glass at the bottom that shows the shadow on the edge of the glass. Yeah. But if, it, if your paint's still wet, you may have to wait a minute for that to, to dry. It's okay. Chris is pretty good too. And there is a blue shadow that he has uh, he's put in. Maybe just a reflection on the tablecloth, but it's not really a tree.
true shadow. There's just darker blue lines that, that are over here on the side. And about the middle of the glass and point of Some of that blue you'll be able to put into your, if he wants your to base use mine, I seem to have here and there, just a, a uh, in between your <laughs> other color colors that you put in there. there. Kind of makes it look like there's water inside <laughs> the glass. Yeah, make some white in there. Yeah. And a little you'll need it up here. White in there. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Let's trade. <laughs> Let's trade. Oh, yeah. like, hold up. Let me just do it. Let me just... I'll just do you. No, I can't. Okay. The point of the class is to, to, to do happy stuff. Okay. There are some greens up on the uh, almond branch. Um, so the greens are, you're going to mix those with your blue and yellow, but uh, probably one part blue to four, five parts yellow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What do you have? Oh, yeah. okay, I'm sorry. Okay, so I, I didn't mean to desert you. I had to go. No, you didn't need to get you something to drink. Oh. I'm supposed to paint the glass itself? Yeah, just kind of, there's a, a curvy line here of white. So let's do the white, here. let's do the white curvy line first. You just let it do awkward. Hold on. Just relax. <laughs> <laughs> so I just I just to do do okay. I, 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 I won't be leaving you astray. <laughs> It's supposed to be fun. Uh, Smile. Uh, <laughs> 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 I just get confused. Like, what do you see that curvy line? So the water. So the first good. color theory. Um, so I've mixed up a little bit of green. I know you guys are still working on some of your stuff, but don't feel like you have to finish it yet. Uh, you're just putting in some uh, keystones for you to come back and look at your painting in a little bit and, and put in the colors, the brush strokes. That are going to finish kind of trace those lines um, I already did. No, uh, we're not we're not here finished or anything like that. We still have 40, 45, 50 your minutes. Yeah, dry your brush. And uh, I am going to put in a few uh, bits of green on my olive branch. There are some leaves up there around the blossoms. <laughs> it's not an olive tree. <laughs> it's, it's an almond. Uh, those Kansas people can't quite get that. Yeah. Uh, 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 I know, but I don't see the flowers. I love all the flowers. I know that lots of them. Do I really know what they are? No, no, that's not the problem too. I don't know exactly. I don't really know what they are. 
a block party in the first, the first Saturday. Okay. Come with us. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
So as you're laying in a color and leaving space for other colors to be laid in next to it, other brush strokes, uh -huh. you can start to build up your lighter brush strokes, um, leaving some of that darker gray underneath. Just leave those strokes there and just add, add a lighter color. Um, lay in another color that's similar to that one near that, that brush stroke. Leave space in between these things so it, uh, it has uh, breathing on it. I'm pretty sure he put that red line in almost last. Yeah. I think he put the red line in. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
part's fun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just knocked down the, the intensity of the red a little bit with some of the purple that I had left. Yeah, I just did that too. Now doing a straight line across, sometimes it's hard to do a straight line, right? Yeah. If you want to make it straight or some, somewhat straight, you can use the edge of the canvas to help you um, guide, your, guide your brush. Water, water everywhere. Whoa. <laughs> what was that? So the way I see my painting up here right now, I'm gonna I'm gonna critique my own painting, and I'd say that I could use some darker color here in my middle area. So 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 that's that's what I'm gonna do. It's gonna help things. It's gonna help push that into the distance, make it a dark gray, but not too dark. Uh, well, looking up here, I don't see it. I don't see dark gray up there. I see a light gray. Okay. Uh, we were talking about this. Stripe, oh, okay. Uh, right is mine dark at all? Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yours is looking great. You might put a few lighter brush strokes in the glass. This, in the glass, yes. Yeah. And even up in the glass where the uh, the stem goes in. Some hot water. Did you? Oh, okay. I was looking at the flowers. I was looking at the flowers. It's lovely. It's got a little bit of white in the glass. So this one. Is it white? No, it's usual. I should have plugged my hair. So you get some more of the glass. Yeah, it looked pretty good. It spread it. 
Very Van Gogh anymore. Well, it's you now. <laughs> I forgot what color it's Carol. It's Carol. Some of my uh, grays are pretty much dried by now, so if you need to add some gray, you'll have to make make some more. Okay. So I talked about doing something with the, the wall back here, which is more of a, um, a model dry brush stroke. Um, I'm going to add, a, for myself, I'm going to add a little lighter version of that gray and, uh, and allow some of this gray to show through. And it's only going to show through because I'm not going to paint that part. So. Mixing your own color is uh very nice. Okay. I need to get some bigger bigger balloons up there. Like all of them. Yeah, they're in my little project. That was just a little. Can I have your idea? Have you? 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 Have you?
like those blooms with the McDonald's sign in What? With the M. With the one she had to Oh, right. Like the like the 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 I like it. See, that's why I envy digital artists, because they're like, oh, this is too strong, we'll lower the opacity. Rounder, so do a round stroke. There you go, that's it. Okay, do some of the other ones, make them a little bigger. Get, get more paint on your brush. Don't worry about black. Round. Not quite so big. Alright, watch. Mm -hmm. Take mm -hmm. this, see it just flat, and mm -hmm. just kind of do that. Oh, just do the table stops. Oh. Oh. Slant or round. Alright, so just kind of switch it and make it, make them a little bit rounder. Okay, those are probably big enough. Go. Yeah, there you go. Okay, just letting you guys know we've got 20 minutes left at least, maybe 25. So there's plenty of time. You can even take a break, come back and put the last few brush strokes in, or go ahead and uh, keep at it. Well, that's coming out nice, Mark. Really? Yeah, coming around long. Work a little bit more on this, but other than that, yeah, she wants me to go and do my blossoms. You need to, yeah, this, yeah. That's the red line. I know, you need to do your red line and then do something in there. Make it dark. Yeah, I know. It's not like you said, yeah. the Take red your break. wine, not the line. <laughs> Take your break. Wine, that would help. <laughs> that would be nice. I mean, if you want a smaller brush, there's an even smaller, sometimes a flat. Small flat. I have some smaller brushes if you need them. The gloss. Get some nice white. Just put a dash of pale blue in with the shadow side of them. All right, I was focused on my painting and Carol was taking over my class, so I've got to stop that from happening. Uh -huh. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> it's a story of my life. I know. Remember you guys are on camera. Yeah. Yeah. I don't feel so bad. I don't feel just cheap. So Van Gogh had a uh, reputation. I wasn't going to get too into it, but a lot of people kind of thought he was a little crazy. Oh, bipolar? Yeah, bipolar. Did they ever really diagnose him with anything, or was that yeah, just because they did. of his behavior? They she diagnosed. Was. <laughs> yeah. 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 Um, he, like so many of the others, had a sip and was. Uh, I didn't get that. Yeah, well, they all, they all did it. There was no cure. And so it was eating away his brain. He also was an absinthe drinker, which absinthe is just like LSD. Well, can't be just like it. Or it's yeah, well, it's a whole lot like it. You hallucinate a lot. So, well, there's got to be a lot of mood disorders that go along with that, too. Yeah, well, this could be mine. Not asking for the light, calm down. 
some light? I'll get you some light. Okay, how's that? Much better. I did a good job. You did a great job, boy. Add to what you have. We're not doing the same drugs as they were doing. Yeah. 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 Anybody else in some ice cream bucket with that? Yeah, you do. Yes, I'm thinking. Yeah, but I'll use it. I'm finding I need a few details around my almond grains, around the, the blossoms after their ends. A few shadows right in there. You need to clean water. Is that green water? So if you guys want to take my class at some point, this is a lot what it's like. Uh, I'm going to have these paints uh, available for you to use. You can bring your own. And there's a difference in <laughs> price for the class depending on whether you use my supplies. Let me make sure it stays moist. But it's not, it's not too much. Hey, Ann, they're looking at this. Ben Goo's done a, a little bit of detail on his on his branch, uh, so pay pay a little bit of attention on the shadows and the shadows and the uh, the highlights are alternating just like his brush strokes on his on his subject matter. And then just on the bottoms of some of these. Pretty much. There's a lot of details. All right, come Just a little touch, just on the bottoms. Perfect. 
Just the tiniest, tiniest. Just looking very right good. I'm trying not to right there. Yeah. Just put that on some of the bottom. Hey, Lamar. Yeah, come and take the glass. Can you move the house? Also, put flowers. You said here at the bottom. Yeah, at the bottom of the beach. It's just a little bit. I'll get to the bottom. I don't know. No, I was still working on my boss. My red line to be my signature. Put the red line in it says I'm going to was like, there's something missing. Hmm, red. No, he has soda. That's your water. One thing you want to do is cut this right across your skin. That's oh, right. Good job. Good job. Yep, I like it. Now, if you want it to look a little more glassy, you take a little bit of white and streak it through your mm -hmm. Well, you, can, you can try to uh, write your own name the way Vincent wrote his. You know, with a it's, it's a very hard to read individual letter. You know, it's, the letters are te aren't touching each other. They're they're made with a one brush stroke. Um, it'll be it'll be different. All right, one brush stroke. And I'm like, oh, all right, let's see if we can get this. And he's done his in red. I would re recommend using red. You gotta put the line underneath too. Oh yeah. The line is done. So anybody, does anybody want help from me? Since I denied you guys help. I like your opinion. Yeah, 
very decorative. Yeah. I, I think he follows the instructions to the D just also. And it does not have to look like anybody else's painting. It has its own beauty. Oh yeah. That's what I like. There he is. Did you put in a window? Go ahead and put, put your, uh, I'll put your signature up. Oh, oh, you can we did it already. Yeah. That one, that one's good. Where's the one on the thing? Yeah. Hi. 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 Do you like the one on the, the screen? That's him, Tim, right? No, that's not him. That's Tim from right there. <laughs> oh, the yeah, real one. That's the real one. His is over there. This is, she, she wants to see all of them. Yeah, I this like Vincent's mango. Didn't he cut off his left ear or something? Oh, or was somebody else's cut it off? Oh, God. Okay, yeah, he cut it off at some point. I'm thinking it was. Oh, that's pretty. Starry Night is pretty, too. Oh, yeah, that's pretty. Have you seen the Starry Night version of it? No, my red line is funky. Red replicas of it. Oh, I like this one. How much is that? Uh, I think I have 500 on it now. It's on the back of the It's beautiful. Okay. Well, I have a picture that I want to paint. I think of this picture. This one I want to paint this. It's my profile picture. It's a photograph, but I want to paint that. It's a canvas wheat field. And Ruth Pink just paint painted too. Ruth Pink can paint this too. I'm sure she can. I'm not even going to start the thing in my class too. I don't think that's something that's going to that. They come to the class and, and they can do my class. Okay. We can work on that. I, I have a class at, uh, on Saturday morning from 9 until 1. I think you uh, And then I have it on Wednesday night. What? Those are my So, what night again? Sunday? Wednesday, Saturday. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. Yes. Good job. 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 Yes. Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Being here today, uh, five, ten more minutes to wrap it up. But uh, really enjoyed having you. Uh, I want to want you to check out our Facebook page. Uh, for our next free free workshop, uh, it's going to be on ancient Egyptian art with a guest, with a guest speaker. When is that? Um, uh, our guest speaker is Docent Sherry Nichols. And thank you all for coming. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Dave. You did a great job. You're welcome. I had a blast. Thank you.